Oh, you went to space with a crew of seven people, right? First crew was seven. A uh, small space during eight days. How do you manage to, I don't know, get along with? Well, one of the things you got to remember uh, here on Earth, you and I are limited uh, the distance between the floor and the top of our head. Mm -hmm. We kind of live in that space. But we could, I could sleep up there on that ceiling if we were in weightlessness. You and I could both, we could be up there upside down doing this interview. So in space, in the space shuttle, you can use all the volume of the spacecraft to live and work. Uh, we've had times where all seven of us are eating in the same little space with two or three people down here and two or three people up there upside down and one on each wall looking. And we're all looking at each other from different perspectives. And when you got back into the Earth atmosphere, the feeling there, the sensation, is it relief? Well, when we start back to Earth after being in weightlessness conditions for days, and we start back to Earth, uh, you don't feel gravity right away, you're still falling. We start our re-entry once again over Australia on the other side of the Earth. I slow down, I start falling. I fall for 45 minutes, still in weightlessness, until I start hitting the top of the atmosphere. And for the last 45 minutes, we're entering the atmosphere and I'm making turns to adjust my energy state. I want to get to Kennedy Space Center with a perfect oh, amount of energy. I want to get overhead Kennedy Space Center to exactly 40,000 feet. That's about oh, 15 kilometers above the Earth. And then I start a spiraling approach to land at the Kennedy Space Center. We don't have any engines. I'm a big glider, a fancy mm -hmm. glider. So I have to make a, only get one chance to make the landing. So we have to get it right the first How time. How precise. And when you actually <clears throat> hit the ground, don't hit it. Well, you don't hit it. Is, just... I want I want to touch down so softly that you don't even know we're on the ground. Wow! So it's like a a kiss. Would you go back if you had a chance? In a heartbeat. Okay. Wow. Anytime, any anywhere, any place. You let me know, and I'll be there to go. Thank you, John, for your time. Truly an honor. Well, it's truly my honor to be with you here in Buenos Aires, in Argentina, and my first visit and. Uh, share some of my experiences with you. Gracias, muchas gracias. Y bueno, la NASA también llegó todo tiene un porqué. O todo tiene un porqué, llegó el espacio de la mano de un verdadero astronauta.